So in this video, we're going to start talking about surface statistics. Basically, there are certain statistics that you can pull out of a surface, whether it be the area of the surface or a volume of a surface or a minimum or maximum coordinates of a surface or a minimum, maximum or mean elevation of a surface. These data sets can be displayed using a label, but there's a much simpler way to get this information in a quicker view. And so we're going to go ahead and go over how to do that right now. What you want to go ahead and do is you want to go to the Toolspace Prospector tab, drop down on your surfaces and right click on EG. You're going to go ahead and click on surface properties. And then when you go over to the right hand side here, you're going to see this statistics window. And in the statistics window, it has a lot of information about your surface that you can just come and view anytime you've made an edit to a surface or somebody just wants to know some information about the surface that you've created. So you can find out your number of points. You can find out your minimum and maximum coordinates for a surface. You can find out your minimum, maximum, and mean elevations for your surface. You can also get extended information from your surface, what the 2D surface or 3D surface areas are. You can get your minimum and maximum slopes, and you can get your mean grade slopes. And then the other information you get can get from it is your tin information, which is your number of triangles for your triangulated irregular network. You can get your maximum triangle area, your minimum triangle area, your minimum triangle length, and your maximum triangle length. So this is important because if you decide some of the information that's being displayed inside of your drawing is not returning the way you want it, you can see that a maximum triangle length of 548.734 feet is being displayed. And if you wanted that to be less, you could say, okay, I now know that I need to have stuff somewhere below 548, but maybe above 200. So I would set maybe 200 as my maximum triangle length. This is an easy way to view the statistics of your surface without having to create labels and insert them into your drawing.